Over the last while, I've been working on visualizing the Unicode system with J with my visual. You can see J just displays the text here, which is fairly clean. But if you box, there does seem to be an issue where the text in the box doesn't quite line up with the outside of the box. It gets even worse if you actually try and reshape. You get this sort of thing where the boxes don't line up and then there's weird characters introduced and it just becomes a little bit confusing. So this is my solution to some of this, starting off with the Unicode part of it. So V is the, uh, the verb that I'm using to use my display. Here you can see I've got the uh, Unicode shape of 11. There's 11 characters and then the code points show up. Now it's interesting, the last five characters on my display show up as the same width as the previous five and that's because I've actually shrunk the font size. And uh, that's different than the text because the text actually shows up as wider. Now when I actually box this you can see again I've got 11 characters but for some reason Jay wants to pad it out like it's 26 characters which uh, will become a bit more apparent as we move forward. You can see the code points are still Unicode's the same and the shape of the box of course is an atom. Now let's take a look at if we force this into a literal by formatting it and you can see that this changes it and we're no longer looking at Unicode, now we're looking at UTF-8. And the interesting part is, this is where the 26 comes from, is these 11 characters are coded into 26 numbers. Some of them are double and some of them are triples. So the way I've done it is the wider ones are triples, and the narrower ones are doubles, and it gives me more space that I don't have to shrink the font anymore to make them fit. And I don't have to worry about that whole width constraint. So when I actually go to box these, now mine fits because it's got 26 characters and 26 spaces across. And that's the problem that the J hits, is it thinks it's got 11 characters with 26 uh, uh, spaces across. That's sort of part of the issue. Now let's take a look at that reshape version and see if whether we can make a bit more sense out of that. So we'll reshape into three rows of 12. And when we do that, we can see what's happening here is that top row is 12, but it's 12 numbers and they're broken up into different groupings which sometimes show characters and if they don't they're a question mark with a diamond which means that they're not displayable because they're broken up. If they are displayable then they show up this way and as you move across you can see it's actually just a long list of numbers that's been broken in inopportune places and so as a result some of them don't display. Also, the numbers don't, the characters don't actually line up vertically because some of them are twos and some of them are threes. I'm hoping that helps and I'm looking forward to your feedback.